A lot of people wonder how to get clean drinking water and what the best way is to filter water. We're going to talk about that, but there are issues with water filtration and how it affects dental health and bone health. So can you actually have clean drinking water and good tooth and bone health? We're going to dive into this. You know, this controversy came up for me personally about 10 years ago. I saw a person as a patient. She was a personal friend. She'd actually been one of my teachers and mentors in the natural health world. And she came to get her teeth cleaned for her daughter's wedding. She said, my teeth just are looking kind of dingy. Can I get a tooth cleaning? So she came and kind of went through the back door a little bit of my dental practice and went straight to just the hygienist chair and started getting her teeth cleaned. Well, the hygienist came to me and she said, doctor, I need to talk to you for a minute. I need to talk to you about this patient. And I said, oh no, no, she's just here to get her teeth cleaned for her daughter's wedding. And she said, no, you need to go and see, do an exam and see this patient. So I did an exam on this friend of mine and I was shocked at what I found. She had so many cavities all over her mouth. And these weren't little cavities, these were big cavities. So some of the things that she was concerned about being you know, discolored and unsightly for her daughter's wedding, they weren't just stains that we could polish off. They were actually huge cavities on her teeth. I was so surprised. And I just kind of sat back and I said, I don't even know how to tell you what I'm seeing right now, but you have a mouth full of tooth decay. And I don't know why, because I knew how she ate. She ate an incredibly clean diet. Like I said, she was one that had been teaching me. And she and I both scratched our head a bit. And I said, you know, I really want to dig into this with you. I need to find out what you're doing from a supplement standpoint. I need to find out what you're doing, you know, from food and water and all these things. And we're just going to look at the whole picture and see if we can find where the hole is, what happened here. And so we went back and forth some, and she told me that she was drinking distilled water exclusively. Well, let's get into a little bit about what different filtration and water treatment systems do to the water. And then we're going to come back to the story about my friend. So what do all these different filtration systems do? In my upcoming book, Living Well with Dr. Michelle, teaching you how to have unlimited energy and unlimited health, I talk a lot about water and the importance that water has in our cells. Water is like the UPS truck in the cell. It actually brings nutrients into our bodies and delivers it to the cells that need it. And it removes waste and takes it out and gets rid of it. So those UPS trucks are full of boxes. Those boxes are water molecules. And those, some of those boxes are empty. It's just the water. But some of those boxes are really quite full. They are full of things like uh, pesticides, herbicides, other contaminants. They are full of things like forever chemicals. They are certain plastics that are things that never leave your body again once they're in. They are full of things like chlorine from the water itself and fluoride from the water itself. They are also full of minerals calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, all of these other things. Well, some of those boxes with these contents we want, right? These are things that we want brought to the cell and used by the cell, particularly those minerals. Those minerals are incredibly useful. That is what builds our bones, though they are what build our teeth. And if you don't have enough delivery, of those minerals, what happens is your body needs a certain amount at all times and it needs a certain amount circulating through the system. So it will actually pull minerals from your teeth and from your bones if it's not getting enough through those delivery processes, through the water, through the food that you're eating. So it's very important that you get enough minerals. However, there's another issue with minerals and water. Minerals and water create hardness. So we call this hard water. What is it? It's just mineral rich water. Why is that problematic? Well, it actually can be problematic somewhat if there's too many minerals in the water coming into the, into the system. So if those boxes are just too full of minerals, but it also causes a problem in our water lines themselves, right? This is the hard water stain that you get around the faucet on your sink or in your shower. This is also the hard water 
crystallization or deposits that will clog up piping in your home. So hard water is not always a benefit. However, we need those minerals. So let's talk about different filtration systems. Remember, we wanna filter out a lot of things. We wanna filter out minerals to a degree, but not entirely. We wanna filter out pesticides, herbicides, forever chemicals, plastics, pharmaceuticals, all of those things, as well as bugs. We wanna make sure that we're not getting waterborne parasites like Giardia or other contaminants that can come in the water through the water carriers. So how do we filter out all these things? There's a sequence or kind of a, a whole scale of different filtration. The smallest level of filtration is called, called a carbon filter. And that's what you're gonna find in a lot of those pitcher systems. It's going to filter out things like the big bugs, like Giardia. It's gonna filter that out. It can filter out some of the larger minerals, things like iron, sometimes, not always. It's mostly going to take care of the problem of is it safe to drink? Or am I gonna get sick from drinking this? So it will change a little bit of the taste. That's why we like the taste of that filtered water because it is taking some of those minerals. It is taking out the bugs. It's gonna make safer water. However, it has not removed chlorine. It has not removed fluoride. It has not removed some of these forever chemicals that are very, very small. And it actually hasn't removed all the bugs because some of them are very, very small as well. So we often will recommend a higher level of filtration. There's some different things, I won't get into all of them, but um, some different ways you can do it. Even water softener, what is that doing? It's actually just grabbing minerals and replacing it with minerals. So it's taking some of those harder minerals out and replacing it with sodium and some other minerals. That's the softening process that happens through a water softener. So it's just exchanging minerals for minerals. Then there are more intensive filtration systems. One that you've probably heard a lot of is called RO water, which stands for reverse osmosis water. So RO water is forced through a series of membranes. Because it's forced with pressure, it actually can remove more because you can get a tighter filter, basically a smaller filter. Water won't just go through that filter on its own because it's too little. It's going to grab everything and water won't make it through. So you actually push it through with pressure to make it through that smaller filter. With an RO filter, you're gonna be able to remove chlorine, fluoride, pesticides, herbicides, every single mineral. It removes like 98% of all minerals in the water when you take it through an RO filter because they're big enough, they're gonna get caught in that filter. It's also gonna remove those forever chemicals that we're concerned about. So you are going to have very pure water at the other side of RO filtration. The other one that does this is distillation. So when my friend was drinking distilled water, this is what you're doing as well. In essence, what you're doing is heating the water, it's creating steam, and the steam leaves everything behind. It's just water up here, and you're collecting that steam and, and distilling it. That's the distilled water, and that's what you're using. So it's also very pure, pure of everything. Minerals, chemicals, bugs, contaminants, all of it have left that water. So the idea is amazing, right? We have very, very pure water, but let's get back to those minerals. Minerals are essential for bone health and tooth health. So there was a new study released in 2023. It was published on the National Institute of Health site talking about they have now proven that drinking RO water exclusively leads to increased levels of tooth decay and increased levels of osteoporosis and osteopenia. Why? because that water is what we call hungry water. That water has no minerals in it itself. The boxes are empty. And because they're empty, remember the circulating fluids in our system and other organ systems need minerals. If there's not enough to balance everything, it will pull minerals from your teeth and bones to use elsewhere. This is what we talk about a lot with gut health and things. If you're not getting enough minerals, you are gonna pull your minerals from your teeth and bones to be able to balance and give your other organs and systems what they need. So your water, RO water is not helping the situation. Distilled water is not helping the situation. In fact, it's making it worse. And the study showed definitively that RO water, and it didn't, it didn't say distilled water, but anything we say about RO, we can say about distilled water as well, that those waters that are hungry waters, they're mineral free, they actually will lead to more tooth decay and decreased density in bone, which we call osteoporosis and osteopenia. So what do you do about this? We want clean water. Do we have to pick? 
Do we have to pick either clean water or tooth, good tooth and bone health? The answer is no, we don't have to. So let me talk to you a little bit more about my friend. So we started discussing this and I say, it's your distilled water. That's your problem. And she said, no, no, no. I put minerals back in. I know it. I get this. I get this hungry water concept. I've heard this before. It's not a problem. I put minerals back in. And I said, with everything, with all of that water? Yeah. When I drink it, I'm like, what do you use to cook with? Oh yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And what do you use to bathe with? It's actually getting in through your skin. What are you using for all of these different situations? Are you adding minerals back to all of those? Well, no, I just have a little dropper bottle of minerals that I'll put in when I'm drinking the water sometimes. Exactly. So she was giving, bathing her body in and feeding her body with this hungry water all the time. And it was literally stealing from her teeth. So I was really debating this for a couple of years. And I had another friend who also a chiropractor, incredibly well educated in all of these kinds of things. In fact, he was the one that introduced, introduced me to Weston Price, interestingly enough. I knew he drank distilled water as well. And so I said, I want to see your teeth. I was actually at his practice as a patient. And I said, this is really disturbing me. This friend of mine, she drinks distilled water. I know you drink distilled water too. Can I look at your teeth? And so he, he humored me and he smiled and he opened his mouth and, and I said, wow, your teeth actually look great. I don't see any cavities. He, he then came in as a patient and we verified all of this. It was true. He had fabulous teeth, really, really strong teeth. But as I dug into his diet, what I found is he was drinking distilled water, but the mineral content of the other things he was eating was off the charts. So he was balancing this lack of minerals in his water because he had an overabundance of minerals elsewhere. That's the problem. Most likely you and everyone you know that's drinking these mineral deficient waters, they're not actually eating enough to compensate for this lack. And even my friend who was eating quite well, there was another issue with the way she was eating though. She wasn't eating any animal products and animal products often will contain the vitamin D3 and K2 that we need for proper mineral absorption. So I think she had a double whammy, hungry water, plus no vitamins, which were allowing for mineral absorption. Whereas this chiropractor friend of mine was doing, he was doing kefir every single day, which was chuck full of minerals and a lot of really good things. So here's the compromise that we have to, to basically strike a middle zone with. If you are going to use RO water or distilled water, you need to add minerals back to that water, period. So what do I do in my home personally? I actually just had an RO, a whole home RO system installed that cleans everything thoroughly. Not only is it RO, but there's a UV system attached to that. UV picks up any of the bugs that aren't killed by all the rest of these things. And we have an ozone attached to that as well. That's also going to kill all the bugs. So it's very, very clean water. But when we first got it installed, we didn't have any kind of remineralizer on it at all. And two things we noticed. First of all, it doesn't taste very good. It tastes dead. Minerals actually bring the taste to water. So if you have mineral free water, it doesn't taste very good. So my husband complained right off the bat. He's like, this water is kind of gross. Uh, I said, oh no, but so clean. It's so clean. And then I since learned. So that's the first thing we do is we always add minerals back. We were doing drops, but again, it doesn't necessarily fix the water that you're cooking with and other instances like that. So what we did is we actually had a remineralizer put onto the line that goes to the kitchen. So all water that we're going to be consuming with drinking, with cooking, it's the line that even goes to like the water on the fridge. All of those places are going to have minerals in it. It tastes much better. I love the water now. It tastes much better and we know it's clean. So we didn't have to sacrifice one for the other. Now, if you're using a distiller, you're not usually going to be having it in line like the way ours is, meaning you're just going to get water and you're going to drink that. You're going to need to add minerals, period. You're just going to have to. So RO water, distilled water, you're going to add minerals back to, and you have to for tooth and bone health. I want to talk about one other kind of filtration system that a lot of people will talk about, and that is alkaline water. So some of these systems will create RO water, reverse osmosis water, and then they will alkalize it. Well, the problem with alkaline water is that you don't want to be putting alkaline water into your acidic stomach. The stomach is one place we want to be acidic. Why? That acidity breaks food apart, ionizes minerals, breaks apart proteins, does all of these things. If you actually don't have enough acid in the stomach to do that, you won't absorb nu nutrients properly either. So if you have an RO water system, then put it through an alkalizer, 
be very, very careful. You do not want to be drinking that water along with a meal. Otherwise, it will not allow you to digest properly. And I recommend going no higher than about an 8.0 on the pH scale with your, with your alkalizer. People will say, oh, it goes all the way to a 9. Not good. You're not digesting anything at that point if you're doing that along with food. So my mission here at Living Well with Dr. Michelle is to help you clear a path through all the mountains of information that you have. This is a lot of information, but I really want to make this clear. For tooth health, for bone health, for overall health, for good digestion, you need minerals and you need water that's at the proper pH, which should be about 7.5, 7 to 7.5, anywhere in the range, 7 to 8 is okay. That's the kind of water you want and you want minerals in it. Otherwise, your body is going to be deficient and it's going to be stealing them from your teeth and bones. How do you get it? In my home, we have an RO system plus a remineralizer. You can also use a carbon filter. If you're doing distilled, you have to add minerals back. This is that happy middle zone where we get clean water plus the minerals you need to function correctly. Minerals are essential for so many functions in the body. We've just talked about tooth health and bone health, but there are so many others that I could talk about that are so important. We have to have minerals to be able to have our cells and our body function well. And this is a way to get both.